When I was a little kid and my parents took me to visit my grandmother in Egypt, she used to make these delicious desserts of yogurt, on top of which would be jello. So it's like red and white. So if you're Egyptian or you know Egyptians, they make this all the time and it's really delicious. So as a little kid, I loved it. Jello, yogurt, jello, yogurt. What a great combination. And um, my grandmother would put it in the fridge to cool and I'd go and take one and eat it and so on. But one day it happened that somebody else went to the fridge and ate a couple of them. And then my grandmother went and said, Muhammad, you ate them. And then I said, in response, I didn't eat them. And she's like, no, you ate them. I'm like, I didn't eat them. And she's like, tell the truth. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> what is this? I didn't eat them. So as a little kid, I said to myself, if I'm going to get blamed for eating the yogurts, then I'm going to eat them. There's a deep lesson in that, but first let's look at the ayah. In this verse, the angels came to Prophet Ibrahim and they were saying respectfully to him, don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Now Ibrahim respectfully also says to them in response, He said, who loses hope in the mercy of Allah except those who are misguided? And if you work it backwards, only misguided people are the ones who lose hope in the mercy of Allah. What's really interesting is that this is a very similar statement to what Prophet Yaqub said to his sons. It had been many years and they had lost their brother Yusuf many years ago. And when their father sent them back to Egypt, he said, go to Egypt and look for your brother Yusuf after all these years. And then he said to them, Wala tay And he said, and don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah. So we see this is a recurring theme amongst the prophets teaching us that no one should lose hope in the mercy of Allah. And in fact, only misguided people will lose hope in the mercy of Allah. So two things, fear and hope, right? Should you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you fear like I'm going to go to hellfire if I do this and that? Or should you have hope in the mercy of Allah? Well, the reality is that you should have both, of course, right? You fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment, you hope for his reward. But what's really interesting is that you cannot only have fear. You cannot only have fear. Because if you only have fear and you have no hope in the mercy of Allah, then you will be misguided and you'll go to hellfire. It's back to the, the yogurt and jello thing. Remember I said that if I'm going to get blamed for this or if I'm going to go to hellfire anyway, then what's the point of doing good deeds? And so similarly, you should never accept the whispers of shaitan in your ear telling you to lose hope in the mercy of Allah, telling you that you've done so many sins, there's no hope for you, you're going to go to hellfire, so you might as well just, you know, eat all the yogurts and eat all the jellos. Don't accept that from shaitan. Always realize that there is hope for you, there is hope for me. We should never lose hope in the mercy of Allah.